And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, we bring you a story of Christmas shopping and a present that went astray. We call it A Present for Benny. So now, starring Jack Crucian, here is tonight's suspense play, A Present for Benny. Got a gorgeous ermine on sale at Halgrim's. Just gorgeous, look. Later, later. Give me the rest of the mail. Mm. And not the bills. Sure, baby doll. Oh, honey pot, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like the stuff you got in that big uh, job sure, last yeah. month. Uh, 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 I got a, a, a... <laughs> Something wrong, lover? Shut up. You call me, boss? Who call you? You want to get thrown out the window? He's all upset, Swifty, on account of a letter. Sure, I'm upset. Yeah, you listen to this. Dear Ricky, I'm sending you this letter like kind of a Xmas greeting. I got a holiday feeling in me, so I'm going to give you the news straight. Me and my boys is the ones who hijacked that load of furs from you last month because you were a dirty, no-good fink. I'm stating to you that there ain't no room for the two of us in this town. So me and the boys is moving you out. You were a big chiseler, and if you don't drop dead when you read this, me and the boys will pump you full of lead next time we see you. Yours truly, and a merry Xmas, Machine Gun Benny. He's a dirty rat. Baby, honey, you could give it to me for Christmas. It's only two G's, and it's just gorgeous. Look, will you shut your trap? I got enough trouble. Boss, boss, what are you going to do? What do you think? What do you think? Go call the boys. Sure. No. Oh, wait a minute. We got to do this careful. We don't want no open war, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, boss. Just a couple of us. See, two good heads, and you and me. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's the best. Uh-huh. Artie the Grunt. Yeah, yeah, Artie. And uh, No Nose Firebush, that's it, just them. Artie the Grunt and No Nose Firebush. Okay, Rick. That small time thing sure there's room for only one of us, and he's going to find out which one it is. You tell him, honey lamb. Didn't I tell you to make me a drink? No. You calling me a liar? Honey lamb, I ain't calling you a liar. You never told me to make you a drink, did he, Swifty? I told you to make me a drink a minute ago. I got ears. You never I'm told me... I'm telling you again, go make me a drink. Okay, okay. Big thing. Big... Give an order like a general or something. And hey, don't get so smart! Dumb dame. Okay, Swifty. You get the boys over here. We gotta have us a conference. Now, the way I see it, it's machine gun Benny or me, see? And it's going to be me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sure, He boss. wants trouble. He found the right party. You want uh, You want we should go over and rub him out, boss? What's the matter with you, no nose? He may be stupid, but he ain't dumb. Yeah, that's what he figures. We'll go gunning on him. That's what he figures, see? Yeah. So we ain't going to. We're going to play it smart. Artie. Hmm? You got any ideas? Uh, I do. Uh... No nose? Well, cheap, boss. You don't want to use no choppers. Gee, how about a good old ride? Dope. How you gonna get at him for a ride? What a dope. Honey, love. Why, what? Look, don't bother me, I've will you? I got just a present I'm gonna buy you. Good, good. That's good. Now shut up, boss. I got a thought. Maybe we could send this bum a bomb, maybe, huh? You can't send no bomb through the mail. You know that. It's against the law. Ain't you guys got any... Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah? I got something. What, boss? 
How's about we could send him a little present, huh? What do you want you should send him a present for? A uh, Xmas present. See, all wrapped up with paper and ribbon and everything. Nice box about, oh, about this big and this wide. And when he opens it, boom. But, boss, you just said we couldn't Not send him... Not through the mail. From the store. From... Hey, Mill. Mill, what's the name of that store you always buy in that? Halgrim. Oh. Hey, you're gonna buy me that iron? Go make me a drink. Make for the boys, too. Oh, gee whiz. Okay. Algrams, yeah, that's a place. Real high class. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Benny. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boss, you figure he'll fall for this, you figure? Sure he would. We get the store to deliver it. How's he going to suspect? Well, how are we going to get him to deliver it, Boss? No, we don't worry about now. It gets delivered. Artie. Mm-hmm. You got to make us for a bomb. Sure. The old-fashioned kind. You know, a lot of broken glass and nails. What'd he say? Yeah, yeah, he says you can make it. Oh, okay, now you take care of that, and I want it day after tomorrow. All right, all right. And you make it a ticker, see, but don't set nothing until we're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick, I gotta hand it to you. You're a genius. Yeah. You are a genius. Boys, ain't he a genius? Yeah, yeah. genius, genius. He's got yeah. the Christmas spirit, too. It's better to give than to receive. <laughs> okay, okay, now shut up. We gotta figure out a plan for the store to deliver it. Yeah. We got a figure. Oh, honey lamb, ain't you coming to bed? No, I ain't coming to bed. But it's 2 o'clock a.m. I'm tired. Go make some coffee. Honey. Sandwiches, too. I'm hungry. Why don't you finish thinking tomorrow so I can get some sleep? Don't you never think about nothing else but sleeping? Sure. I've been thinking all day about that ermine and halgrims I was telling you of. Baby, oh. Baby. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, you too, honey lamb. So why don't we hey, just Hey, hey, snap to... out of it, boys. Oh, come on, wake up, Swifty. Hey, wake up. Oh, oh, wake up. Oh, 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 my God. Um, fellas, huh? I got it. What? What, what? boys? Mill is going to get an ermine from Halgrim's. Oh, baby doll. Oh, lover. Uh, will you get your claws off of me and make some coffee? Now, listen, boys. Here's how we do it. Just simply gorgeous. Feel the pelt, sir. Notice the sheen. Yeah, I felt that I seen it. Two G's is too much. I'll give you 1500 Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's been marked down from thirty-two. We positively cannot sell it for under 2000 Now, uh, we have a nice mink for 1500 Oh, Ricky, honey, don't be chintzy. It's Christmas. Will you shut your mouth and go buy your old lady something? I'll see you at the house. Ain't you going to buy it? It's so gorgeous. For $1,500, i will buy it. For two, I ain't interested. Now, beat it. Oh, gee... Okay. But don't go buying me no lousy mink. You know it gives me the hives. <laughs> She'll live a doll. Okay, wrap it up. You'll, you'll take the ermine, sir? Sure, I'm taking it. I want to surprise her. Here. One, two G's. Oh, oh yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, would you like it wrapped as a gift for the uh, lady? Yeah, I want it in a box with lots of ribbon and Xmas junk all over, you know. And I want you should give me another box the same size, see, ribbons and everything. It's going to be kind of a Xmas joke on a pal. You get what I mean? <laughs> Empty box, you know. <laughs> oh, and uh, give me a couple of cards to write on. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, will you have them sent? No, I'll take them both with me. Well, it'll just take a few minutes, sir. So I'll wait. Hey, Artie. When you got the timer set for it to go off? What'd he say? He says he got it set for 23 hours. It'll go off at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, what happens if uh, he opens it before? What'd he say? He says it'll, it'll go off anyway. Oh, oh, that's good. Nice work, Artie. Nice work. <laughs> uh, hey, I bet you he opens it. Don't worry. I bet he ain't got no patience. For instance, he gets a big tree beginning of December. All the trimmings, his pals around him, a couple of cases of old stag, 
uh, Christmas presents mean something to a guy like that. It is going to this year, that is for sure. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. All right, now, you carry it, Swifty, and I'll take the airman home. All right, sure, boss. Yeah, I got it. Now, you know what you got to do. I am to take the bomb back to the store. There, I'm going to find a guy what sold you to Irma. Yeah, to Mr. Minchie. Minchie? Yeah. Then I give him the bomb and I tell him uh, that he's to send it on to Benny. And you tell him it's the gag that I was talking about and you give him a C note for doing you the favor, right? I got it. Okay. Artie, uh, when you get through cleaning up, come over to my place. We'll play some poker tonight, okay? Yeah. Sure. Uh, see you, Artie. <laughs> uh, he's a good boy, that Artie. You know, I'm going to get him one of the new 45s for Xmas. Hey, that'd be nice, boss. He sure yeah. likes them. Me, I like a 38 better. It don't make as big a hole, but it don't weigh you down so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Here, will you hold my box a minute? I want to get a cigarette. Right. Yeah, sure, boss. Boss, look out! It's Benny! Get out! You are listening to A Present for Benny. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Let's look ahead to 1966, and there you are in your beautiful new home. You've got automatic gadgets everywhere. There's a sparkling new dream car in your garage. The youngsters are in a fine college. All's right with the world. Is this just an idle dream? No, this is a real future that you can start building right now. A secure, carefree, prosperous future built with the United States savings bonds. In ten years, you'll get back four dollars for every three dollars you've invested. Join the payroll savings plan where you work or buy bonds where you bank. Start in 1956 to make 1966 the beginning of the golden years. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage... Jack Crucian, starring in tonight's production, A Present for Benny, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. (sighs) Boss, that was close. Oh, Oh, that's no good, dirty, no good. Uh, Benny, he was not kidding about his kidding. And me... I wasn't kidding about getting him. I wait five minutes, and you take the bomb down the store, like I said. Uh, boss? Huh? Which one of you got? Uh, you got the bomb or Mills Ehrman? Uh, oh, should I know? You were holding them when we hit the dirt. I just picked one up, and we come back in here. They, they sure do look alike. Listen, you stupid dope. You got to mix up the packages. But boss, what would that chopper going? I, I just didn't notice. Oh, I ought to give you such a hit. What are we going to do now? You got me, boss. I guess they weigh about the same. So we cannot tell that way. Boss, maybe we should have put different colored ribbons on them. Uh, so as we could tell. Yeah, now, now you're getting smart. Now, now he thinks of it. Oh, come on, we're going back up to Artie's? Yeah, he'll open them up, find them on with the bomb, and then we'll wrap them up again. Oh, sure, Rick. Sure. That's Benny. You know, I should have rubbed him out a long time ago. You know, boss, I sure wish I could be there and see his face when he opens up the bomb. Yeah. You know, it's too bad he will not get time to read the card as to who it is from. Artie, open up. It's Rick. You got us some trouble? Yeah, we had some trouble. Benny and some of his boys as we was walking out. They missed. Well, we ain't gonna. Jerky here got the packages mixed up, though. You gotta open up and see which is which. Hmm? Well, come on, come on. Well, you don't know blow. So open it up so it don't blow up. <coughs> what do you mean you can't? What are you nuts? How am I gonna know which one you send that rat? Mm-hmm. Boss. Boss, maybe we could have thrown a bomb in a river. Then it would be okay. Oh, sure. Oh, boy, what a schnook. We throw the airman in the river, too. What? You know which is the bomb? Uh, I forgot that. On account of you, I'm going to be out two Gs. And you know what? It comes out of your cut on the next job we do. We got to send boat boxes to Benny now. Well, 
Boss, maybe the ermine won't blow up when he does, and then we can take it back from his tomato after he is buried. Swifty, do me a favor. Stop making me feel so good before I kick your brains in. Now, look, you take them boxes back to the store, get them sent out right away, you hear? I don't want no innocent people hurt when it goes off. You just leave it to me, boss. Oh, good go. What do you say? He says you really got a heart, boss. Oh. And don't either of you say nothing about the arm in the mill, see, or I'll have to get her another one. Oh, I won't say nothing. Me neither, me neither. Okay, Swifty, now get going. I'll see you both back at my place. Is that you, honey, baby? Yeah. Oh, me and Nona was just having a game in G, and I couldn't wait for you to get back. Gee, I love you. Did you get it? What? The Iman. No. Go make me a drink. Oh, baby lamb. You didn't really? Oh, you're kidding. You're going to make it a surprise. There ain't going to be no surprise on account of I didn't get it. Now go make me a drink. Hey, no nose. Here, boss. Gee, I bought you a pretty... Oh, well, you're sure going to look like something in it. Oh, wait till you see. Okay, okay. Guess what I got you, guess. Look, I don't feel like no games. It's been a tough day. I'm tired. Do me a favor, make me a drink, then go to a movie or something, will you? Gee. Yeah, Rick. Where was I? Oh, 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 yeah. Look, uh, you better call the rest of the boys and tell them that Benny's our gunner for us. Tell them to stay hit out until they hear from me, see, and I don't want no trouble with the D.A. He's up for re-election. You got Benny's presence and off okay, huh? Yeah. Boy, when he croaks, he'll die laughing if he opens the other box first. The other box? Yeah, I'll tell you about it when Mill's gone out. Oh. Yeah? Boss, this is Swifty. Yeah? You've got nothing to worry about. Everything is taken care of. The stuff goes off the first thing in the morning. Okay, come on back. Sure, Rick. I just thought that you should like to know. So long. Oh, Artie, what do you call these? Well, like what? I asked for three-minute boil. These ain't even born yet. Oh, cook a huh? Ain't you never going to learn how to boil an egg? I'll fix you some more. I ain't hungry. Forget it. Artie, what time is it? Look, huh? No, it ain't, Artie. It's 1.30, boss. Benny should have got the bomb by now. Boss, you want I should call him and, and, and kind of ask after his help? No, no, no. If he ain't got it yet, he might get suspicious. Oh, boy, it's waiting. You know, it's making a nervous wretch out of me. Just take it easy. It'll go off. If you don't want eggs, honey, how about some nice hot coffee, lover? Okay, okay. You'll feel better when when you see what I've got for you. They're sending it today. Yeah, okay. Should I open a boss? Yeah, I'll cover you. Oh, you're so nervous all of a sudden this morning, honey. All right, all right, I'm nervous. So who is it? No nose. I let him in. Yeah, what do you say, boss? What's in the package? Hmm. Oh, this? Well, it just come up for you uh, from Hallgram's. Elevator was bringing it up. Oh, now, don't you spoil it, honey lamb. That's my present to you. You can take the wrapping paper off, but you can't open the box. We've got to put it under the tree when we get the tree. Hey, boss. Huh? That box looks awful familiar. Yeah. Mill, you sure you bought this yesterday? Sure, I'm sure. Looks just like the ones we sent to Benny, don't it? Same size, same ribbon, same everything. It kind of makes you wonder. Don't be silly. They got millions of boxes like this. Oh, it happens there's something very special in there for my sweetie lamb. What's in it? Go ahead and open it. Go ahead. No, no, I'll wait. I ain't like Benny. I can wait. Oh, honey, you open it. It's okay. I'll get you something else to open on Christmas. Oh, sure. Why not, boss? You need something to make you feel good. I feel good now. I don't want to feel no better. Oh, and I thought you'd like it so much. You'd go with me and maybe buy a chinchilla they got on sale at Hogram's. It's only 1500 Just what you wanted to pay for the ointment. I like chinchilla. Come on, boss. Open it up. Open, open, open. All right, all right. I'll open it. 
Hey, Swifty, go get it. Sure, boy. Oh, I can't wait for the lid to come off. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Boss? Uh, it's that uh, guy at the store, Hogram. Oh, Minchie? Uh, yeah. You want me to open it for you, honey? No. Yeah. Uh, Mr. McQueen? Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Minchie in the fur department at Halgrim's. So? Uh, Mr. McQueen, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but I, I think there's been a mistake. What, what kind of mistake? What do you mean? A, a little confusion, but I'm sure it can be easily rectified. Your wife bought something for you yesterday, which was to be delivered this morning. Yeah, yeah, it's already come. Uh, yes, well, uh, there seems to have been an error made in the shipping department, a matter of mislaid address slips. Now, I wonder if you'd mind opening the package which you just received. Or perhaps since it's a Christmas parcel and a surprise for you, no doubt, your wife would rather do it. Well, why? What's wrong with it? Well, uh, you see, those two boxes which your uh, your man uh, uh, brought in yesterday afternoon haven't gone out yet. They were to be sent to Mr. Benjamin Mollusk, I believe it is. Yeah? I think the gift which you have is one of those and, uh, <laughs> well, yours is his. That is, if you follow me. Now, if you'd open it, I'm sure... Boss, there's something wrong? Hey, you're pale. You sick? What's the time? That's a uh, quarter to two. Ain't you gonna open your present? Don't nobody touch that box. It's loaded. The bomb? Yeah, the bomb. Well, of course, it could have been this. You shut up, Swifty. I got enough trouble without her hearing that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I get you. Are you talking about me? Oh, you get that thing out of here. Get it down to the store. They got to send a special messenger. Let him send all three boxes to that punk, Benny. Well, what do I care? Maybe I should send him a Cadillac to go with it. Y you know what I think? I, I think it'd be cheaper to kill myself. What's the time? Ten to four, baby. Where's that Swifty? Don't worry, he'll be here. Maybe Benny got him. Yeah, maybe I should have sent you and Artie with him. Get it, Artie. No nose a meal cover you. Me? Eh? It's me, Artie Swifty. Open up. Boss! I have got it all straightened out. Everything is okay. Boy, some dope those guys down at the store. What's that? This? Oh, this is your present that Mill got for you. I told you they have got it all straightened out okay now. You know how it's Christmas rush. Everybody's mashuga, you know? So now they have found the right slips, wrapped up the boxes again, and Benny's presents have been delivered right now, and this one, this is yours. You're sure this time, are you sure? Boss, would I make a lie out of myself? This box you can open, I guarantee it. Yeah, because you might not like the color I got you. So I wish you would open it. And if it ain't right, we can take it back this afternoon and you can change it and maybe take a look at the chinchillas I was telling you about. Yeah, this time I'm going to wait. When Benny blows up, I open it. What's the time? That's, uh, two minutes to four. You sure? Is your watch right? Well, boss, I just call a tomato on the telephone that gives you the time. Honey, Pat, you're too nervous. This ain't like you. Here, I'll open it for you. Hey, Mill, you quit that. Oh, boss. Oh, sure, take it easy, boss. You're all rot. Oh, I bet you're just going to love it. I just bet. It's about Benny. He opened it. What do you bet? Blam, right through the wall. Yeah? Rick, this is Machine Gun Benny. Benny. Listen, pal, I feel like a dirty rat. That's what I feel like, a dirty rat. When I think what I tried to do to you yesterday, and all the time you was making never minds with the presents, which I and my girl are right now wearing, I tell you, I could eat mud. Yeah. She says she never seen such a oiman. And the robe, oh, it's the greatest. Oh, pal, I am a heel. But, but, but it ain't too late to change. Hey, what do you say we buried a hatchet, eh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll split with you and our furs I hijack from you. And we're, we're partners, you and me. Run the town together. What do you say, eh? Yeah. All right. So, you and Mill and your boys come on over and partake of some Xmas cheer. You hear me, boy? 
You're a great guy, Rick. The greatest. So long, pal. Merry Xmas. So long. Benny, huh? Yeah. This one's the bomb. Yeah. Too bad. What's the time? It's three minutes after four. Three after? Ari, the time has come and gone. How come it didn't go off? A couple of minutes over the crest. What do you say? He says he did not want to blow nobody up so near to Christmas. Then what's in the box? I'll go show. Huh? He's going to show us. Jack Crucian starred in tonight's presentation of A Present for Benny. Next week, a charming fantasy about a small boy who discovered a new world and lived forever after in its enchantment. We call it The Cave. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Anthony Ellis, who also wrote tonight's script. The music was composed by Rene Garrigan and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Featured in the cast were Stacey Harris, Eve McVeigh, Benny Rubin, Junius Matthews, and Joseph Kearns. Time's growing short for the youngsters to write to Bing Crosby. The deadline for postmark letters is Thursday, December 15th, midnight. All your youngster has to do is write a letter to Bing telling what Christmas means to me. Then mail it to Bing Crosby, CBS Radio, Hollywood 28, California. The winner will read his letter in person when America Sings with Bing, Christmas Eve on CBS Radio. All youngsters 12 years of age and under are eligible. That address once again, Bing Crosby, CBS Radio, Hollywood 28, California. Be sure the young letter writer puts his name and address on the letter. Stay tuned now for five minutes of CBS Radio News to be followed on most of these same stations by The Jack Carson Show. Thrill to Gunsmoke every Saturday and Sunday on the CBS Radio Network.